Happy Halloween from everyone here at the PCS. Hopefully everyone has had a joyous Halloween. Welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for race 8 of the Pro Puck Cup Series Season 2. 30 cars bring us to Alabama and here are your headlines for this weekend. Brad Kozlowski starts on the pole for the second straight week. Kyle Busch, he's starting ninth. He's sporting a new paint scheme this week. And Jeff Gordon is also sporting a new paint scheme this week. And the Bush brothers are starting 29th and 30th. Now drivers, start your engines. As the cars begin to roll off, we'll get to the starting lineup. In row one is Brad Kozlowski and Jimmy Johnson. In row two is Joey Logano and Greg Biffle. Row three, in row three, we have a pair of teammates, Keith Kane and Dan Hart Jr. In row four is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kyle Larson. In row five is Kyle Busch and Kurt Busch, two brothers. In row six is Ryan Newman and Clint Boyer. In row seven is Jeff Gordon and Martin Truex Jr. And behind them is Brian Scott and Kevin Harvick. Behind those two in row eight, we have Denny Hamlin and Eric Amarillo. Then we have Austin Dillon and Trevor Bain. Then it's Carl Edwards and Trevor and Ryan Blaney taking up row 11. Then, J then Justin Algar and Jimmy McMurray. Then we have Danik Patrick and Tony Stewart, a pair of teammates. And then Matt Kenseth and Casey Mears follow up behind them. And in the final row, a pair of brothers once again, James Busher and Chris Busher. And here's your race info. Eight laps, 30 cars, 21.28 miles. Now let's go racing here at Talladega. Green flag is out here on lap one. As Jimmy Johnson and Brad Kozlowski take him down. And down on the back stretch, here comes Jimmy Johnson with a little run. Probably no good going into turn three and four. Brad Kozlowski will lead lap one. Now down on the back stretch once again. It is one huge line from Brad Kozlowski going to Kyle Busch as Brad Kozlowski still leads. And oh, we got a wreck. Greg Biffle, Eric Amarola, and others involved in the six car pile up in turn two. As you see, Brian Scott involved, Greg Biffle, Eric Al Almarola, Carl Edwards, Kyle Larson, and Trevor Bain are all caught up in this one as they are now in the garage area. And as the cars begin to roll off again, we'll see who's getting on, who's on pit road. Matt Kenseth's on pit road, fixing damages. But anyways, we're ready to restart. Green, white, checker, green flag is back out on lap seven. As Ryan Kozlowski is getting a huge push from Casey Kane, Joey Logano's getting a huge push from Matt Kyle Busch, and now we're on the final lap. Kozlowski has the lead. Here comes Matt Kenseth with the help of Kyle Busch. Kane on the inside. Here comes Kyle Busch. They're wrecking behind him, and it's Matt Kenseth at the line. The big one strikes on the final lap here at Talladega. 16 cars are involved. As you see, the carnage of everyone. Dale Jr. is on his side. Jamie McMurray is on his stretcher. So is Tony Stewart. Clint Boyer. Casey Mears. Danica Patrick. Chris Busher. James Busher, Jimmy Johnson, Justin Allgaier, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, excuse me, Martin Truex Jr., who started his first race today, Dale Jr., who is now on his roof, now on his stretcher, Kurt Busch, Austin Dillon, and last but not least, Jeff Gordon. Matt Kenseth wins at Talladega. Now here is your finishing order. Finishing first and of course winning the race is Matt Kenseth in the 20 car. Finishing behind him in second is his teammate Kyle Busch. Then it's the five of Casey Kane. In third. In fourth is Brad Kozlowski, who had a really strong car, dominated for most of the day, and then just lost it at the end. Denny Hamlin finishes fifth. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. finishes sixth. And I would like to say Matt Kenseth started 27th 
and and had gotten damage from the big wreck. The first big wreck, I, that is. Seventh is Joey Logano. Eighth is Ryan Blaney. Ninth is, as the first DNF, is Jeff Gordon. Tenth, uh, as the second DNF, is Austin Dillon, who really needs to get some points if he wants to make the chase. Eleventh is Kurt Busch. Twelfth is Dale Hurt Jr. Thirteenth is Martin Shrex Jr. Fourteenth is Ryan Newman. Fifteenth is Kevin Harvick. Sixteenth is Justin Algar, who won Seattle. He's been kind of leveling off ever since that win. Thought he'd do better. Jimmy Johnson is doing seven, is is not doing as well either. He's he finished seventeenth with the DNF. Eighteenth is James Busher in his first race in the Sprint Cup, and then in his first race with his new team is Chris Busher who finishes nineteenth. Dan Patrick finishes twentieth. Finishing twenty first in his first race is Casey Mears. Finishing twenty second is Clint Boyer. Twenty third is Tony Stewart in his final year. As he announced this past week. 24th is Jimmy McMurray. 25th is Brian Scott in his first race. 26th is Greg Biffle. 27th is Eric Amarella in his first race as well. And 28th is Carl Edwards in the 19 car. Benching 29th in... His first race is Kyle Larson. And running out the field in his first race, finishing 30th, is Trevor Bain. Now here are your point standings. As you can see, Jimmy Johnson and Justin Auger are still on top. Kevin Harvick has sort of slipped back a little bit. And Matt Kenseth is, has moved up fourth as we go through the rest of the list and you take a look. You can see the, the asterisks by Austin Dillon. That means... He needs to get into top 13 points if he wants to make the chase. And there's the final page, of course. Now we're going to get to your chase grid. Matt Kenseth, Justin Algar, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jeff Gordon, Kevin Harvick all have wins. Jimmy Johnson and Denny Hamlin are the first two to make it on points. And as you see at the bottom, Austin Dillon must be in the top 13 in points. Thank you guys for watching. Congrats to Matt Kenseth on his second win of the season. This is Dylan, signing out.